Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Ah, Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day in the 70s. Breeze is blowing through my window. I got to shut the air off. I made some sets that I just listed, so I thought I would show you. Each one comes in a bag, or just say envelope. Now if I stay right here, everything's in frame. So what comes with it is a decorated envelope. There's a little tag in there with a little, just a little 20 page um, blank journal. So you get that. That each one is maybe slightly different. And then there's one of the altered cards envelope. And in here is just a hand sewn tag this is kind of just like an ephemera pack just a little of everything then this one is a white craft bag and it has some envelopes and just some tuck spot this is um tailor made journals her french checks which i love and then there's a little booklet with that green masking paper on it. There's a little booklet in that one. So you can use these in your journals wherever you'd like. And then my favorite. Uh, each one comes with a pink one and it's again on Lorna's uh, guest checks and Lisa's altar art um, little girls. And then in here is a big big tag with some gingham and then a little flower one. So you get that. And then each one comes with a six inch snippet. Oh, I think it goes this way. No, it goes this way. Flower. This is my, my tablecloth that I recently purchased. My big one. That's another little vintage. These are pretty much all the same. So that is set number one, and it'll come all nice wrapped up. And then the envelope, you can do whatever you want with it. You can decoupage it. You could whatever. And actually, I stamped them on the back, so you got um, set one. Set two, again, has your snippets. Sn yeah, this is snippets. And then your envelope. And frame here. Am I? Am I? Am I? What a beautiful day. And this one has a little, I think this is Tim Holtz with um, a little piece of uh, cotton muslin. And this is your little girl with the guest check. And then those are your little tags. Now, this one is a little different. Two of these, I think, have this kind of envelope. So the front was so cute, I didn't decorate it. So I decorated the back. So you can either bend this up, put a hinge on it, use it in a book, and then you can, you know, hinge it over, and you'll still have the design. Or you can just probably use it as a tuck. And then there's a tag in there. And um, whatever. Whatever. And there, it's just... It goes this way. Pretty pink rose. And this one, I love this one. Just love her. <clears throat> so you get them. Let's see, three bags and two envelopes. And a little journal. And a little snippet. So I had fun. I did these most of the morning. I'm drinking my coffee, watching Lifetime movies. Old Lifetime movies, 1980s. And again, this one is number two. And then number three, coffee dyed paper. Everything is coffee dyed. And the envelopes are all pretty um, similar. I tried to keep them similar, but different. And that is that journal. And this is the other the other pink one she I put on a piece of cardboard with some flowers and then that comes with a flower tag that's the Tim Holtz 
and then the bit right I left just a little inked up and this little cutie and the envelopes go in the side and this little green paper and then the pink one she's so cute <laughs> and then the gingham and the little white flower I love these bags but I'm almost out of them. I got them as a gift. I'm sure I can get them somewhere, but. And then some of the six to seven inches. I measured pretty. You know, you know how I measure. <laughs> but they're not any shorter than six. So that is number three. Let's stand up here. And then number four. There's your envelope. And this one has hearts. And this one has your um, that kind of tag with corsets. And the white is one of the cards we made the other night. Actually, this was the card I made, and then I added this. And then another little booklet. And then the cute little pink one with the gingham. And oh, it's so cute. And then oh, I had this wrapped around everything. Everything will come nice, nicely wrapped, a little neater than it is now. But that's just because I already had everything loose to show. So that was number four, and I got two more. This is number five. And that is the little book. This envelope goes this way. This is a little book. This is a cute little pink girl. Oh, instead of a flower, this is a piece of, um, I think this came off a doily. Pink and white knitted or not sure and there's a pink little girl and there is your snippet and this is this um, this is one of the cards we made the other night what did I put in here oh this kind of tag and the white craft bag with Oh, another little little booklet. So that's number five. And then after this, I'm going to take a break. And then I'm going to work on our, our live. We're doing Michelle Rose kit. So it's going to be a cool little book. So I'm going to get one done. Ooh, that goes with that. And then number six will be, let's see, where's the envelope? This envelope, little envelope there. Kindness with the dot paper. The snippets. The white envelope with the cards. And then I stuck some little envelope in there and then the little booklet oh this is another of course the envelope with let's see oh one of them perfume tags with oh she is so adorable this pink booklet her bag so so there are, those are my sets that I just finished, and that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to work on Michelle Rose's um, book tonight, so I have a finished one for our live on Tuesday with Maggie, and I can't remember if I'm on my channel or her channel. I can't remember. And um, might be on her channel. You will see. 
And that's about it. So you guys have the rest of the Sunday. And these are listed. And we'll see you soon. Just get all these little, and I just put the green ruffle on the envelopes, the front of the envelopes. So, all right, you guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.